Following on from the previous video, we were looking at the gamma function. We were trying to show that this integral here will converge from 0 to infinity, from 0 to infinity. We were trying to show that this will converge uh, for, for all n being greater or equal to 1. And we got to this stage here. We got to this stage here where we've established that um, that e to the power of t will eventually be bigger or equal to, to t to the power of whatever n here. Uh, whatever n here is, this thing here will eventually overtake this thing here as as t tends to infinity. So we've established this um, in the previous video. Now, now that we're here, divide both sides by divide both sides by uh, by this. So uh, so now tidy this up. You've got this. Take away this. So n plus one. Take away uh, n minus one. So tidy this whole thing up, it will give you two. So uh so this thing here will become this, and then this whole thing here will become t squared. Now take the reciprocal of both sides, that will then that will then give you this. So so looking at this, take the reciprocal of this, so that will then well turn upside down, that will then give you this. And then when you take the reciprocal, remember it because um, because t is always in a positive realm, because we're we're always dealing with positive numbers. Um, this thing, the when you take the reciprocal, the the two signs will the, the signs will switch over. So uh, so so from here, that will then take us to here, and then uh, and then now now uh, now now visualize this as um, as as well visualize this as this thing t to n minus one. So that's one block times a one over e to e to the power of t, and then that's e to the one over e to the power of t is really this thing here. So this so this thing here is this thing here. So now if, if you look at this, so now we now we can say that um, well don't forget this thing here is always bigger or equal to this thing here. So if you take the integral of both, take take the integral of both from uh, from one to infinity, from one to infinity. This thing here we know is going to converge. This thing here we know is going to converge. Well, this thing being bigger or equal to this thing here, if this thing converge, then this will have no choice but to also to converge from one to infinity, from one to infinity. So going back to, to the very very beginning, we were trying to um, to show that this will converge for n greater or equal to to one. So um, so let's let's break this up. Uh, so, so remember, here we're doing it from zero to infinity, from zero all the way to infinity. Let's break it up from, let's let's break this integral up. Let's break this integral up from from uh, zero to one. So do it from zero to one. That's one integral. Okay, that's this bit here, and then and then from zero from and then from one all the way to infinity. Then from one all the way to infinity. So break this up as one part. Adding another part. Now we've we've already established that this thing here will converge from from up here. Uh, uh, one over t squared is always bigger or equal to this thing here. So if this thing here converges, this thing here will converge. Well, this thing here is exactly the same as is exactly the same as this thing here. So we know that this thing here will converge. This thing here is going to be a definite number here. It will come to a definite number. This area here is going to be finite. So this here is going to converge. This is a definite number. Therefore, the whole thing here, this thing here is going to converge. Okay.